Hey Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what's new or what's next in your love life, okay? So we'll see who's coming towards you, what your next major relationship will be like, will it have staying power, will this be, you know, the real deal here? Um, there's also going to be a part two to this reading, and part two is going is going to explore the, like the messages on a much more deeper level. Okay, so we'll dive deeper into those messages for you, and that will be made by the extension link just below the video here. Now, for those of you that are interested in a personalized reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will also be providing you with an extent, uh, not not an extension link, sorry, an email address, um, which will be made available just below the video here. Okay, now with all of that being said, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's begin here. Wow, you've got some interesting cards. I'd like to begin this reading by saying, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. A lot of you have been wanting something or you've been wanting someone so badly. You've been constantly trying to manifest a certain romantic energy in your life, a certain relationship or like an ideal partner, an ideal partnership here. It's something you've been make something that I feel like you've been really hoping for, something that you've been really waiting for. And I feel like... I feel like the universe, whatever it is that you've been waiting for, wishing and hoping for, the universe is here to deliver it to you, okay? So I feel like manifestation is using the power of our own thoughts to attract the things into our life, right? And I feel like a lot of you have been doing a really good job at that here. So I feel like you're... You're radiating a energy that feels very positive and it feels very confident here. And in turn, you're going to attract um, some very good and great experiences in your life. And you're going to bring a lot of um, for good fortune here. See, the law of cause effect, the law of attraction is constantly in motion. It's always working and it progresses as a chain of events. Okay. And it's a reminder that, you know, every human thought here and every and every word leads to a either a positive or a negative cause here. And I feel like, you know, you've been sending out a lot of positive energy out into the world and you're about to get some of this positive energy back here. So I feel like you're definitely in touch with your energy field. Or if you feel like you're not there yet, then I feel like this is something that's upcoming for you. And I feel like there are definitely ways... There are the power of your wishes are definitely creating your uh, reality, and I feel like there's definitely ways to make your wishes come true here. So I feel like someone whom you have very strong feelings for. This could be a person whom you might have been romantically involved with in the past. This could be an entirely new energy, but to me, it feels like this is someone you really want. This is someone who you really desire very strongly. There's such a raw passionate desire behind this energy uh, someone that you've been trying to manifest here here's the thing this person has been trying to manifest you too so someone that you want someone that you crave i feel like wants you too as well and this is why i feel like the desire that you have around this person around this connection is coming true because you are both in vibrational alignment with each other you you are both recognizing each other's frequency now, there's a place in your heart where nobody's ever been, okay? And this person is going, you're going to take this person there. This is someone who I feel like you're truly going to develop a very strong spiritual and emotional bond with, okay? Someone whom you're going to connect with on an emotional level here. Someone who I feel like you have such... 
there's a lot of chemistry there's a very strong sense of attraction towards this person so much so that i feel like it's going to it's very palpable and it's it's even very perceptible by other people like by other connecting energies they definitely can pick up on that chemistry that attraction that you know that energy that vibe when the two of you are in the same room for a lot of you it feels like it's going to be such a swift uh, surprising transition going from you know nothing to absolutely everything here it's like two worlds colliding two hearts colliding coming together and beating as one here and this feels like it's going this person feels like it, they're a forever person here I feel like this is someone whom you're going to potentially settle down and um, settle down and possibly build a family. I see children around this person and their energy, or I see children in the future for you. This is someone whom you're going to build a home, um, create a family with, have their children here. For those of you that are going through something difficult right now, I feel like it's important for you to know if you're going through a dark night of the soul, if you're going through a very difficult time, if you feel like you're still maybe hung up on an ex, or if you feel like this person that you so desire, you feel like it's not attainable, you feel like you can't have them, yet you want them so much, um, I feel like you should know that from this vantage point here, Everything is looking really good. Everything looks like it's about to take a major shift, like a major turn here. Um, everything looks like it's turning in the right direction, in a positive direction here. I feel like you have someone whom you s strongly desire. And this feels like someone you've placed on a pedestal. This is someone who I feel like you're in complete awe and admiration of. And this person is in complete, you know, it's completely awed by you here. This is someone who I feel like... It does feel like more of a slow burning connection. It does feel like this is someone whom you're really going to want to take your time to get to know each other and to really explore the depths of this connection. Or it feels like the two of you have known each other for quite some time before things actually turned romantic. Okay, so you've been wanting this person for quite some time and now you finally get your wish. But if you're going through something, I feel like it's important for you to know that you will conquer this dark night of the soul or you you have to conquer this thought that whatever you think is impossible is impossible because it's not it's only impossible until it gets done right so um there's a turn up ahead for you and th th that turn is where love is going to meet you this is where i feel like um there's a summer coming in so if you've been experiencing an emotional winter i feel like the there's going to be the arms Someone is going to wrap you up in their arms and their embrace is going to be so warm, so so warm, so joyous that it's just going to melt away your winter in an instant. This is someone who I feel like you have not connected with an energy on this emotional level before, okay? This is someone whom I feel like This is someone whom you can have your happily ever after with. But I do feel like if you're going through a bit of a storm now, you are going to get your rainbow, but you just have to keep going, okay? You have to keep trusting yourself. You have to keep manifesting the very things and the very people and the very situations and circumstances that you want in your life. Because what you have, you have an opportunity for a new beginning. You have wishes coming true. You have your desires manifesting. You have your thoughts creating your reality here. You will have that ideal partner, that ideal partnership. You will have that person that you crave, the person that you want so badly, and this person that wants you. And you're attracting each other. You're on that same vibrational frequency and alignment. Okay? And love is definitely, you know, this is where they're going to meet you here. Love is where they're going to meet you. But I feel like for some of you, you need to... There is some, I feel like there's something in your energy that may potentially be blocking this person. Or if you don't necessarily look at things within yourself a little bit closely, I feel like they could potentially hinder this connection from happening, potentially stunt the growth of this connection connection instead of attracting this person you could be repelling this person and i feel like it's something within your energy something within your energy which um, might potentially end up repelling 
the very person or the very situation instead of attracting it, okay? And we're going to explore exactly what that is in part two of this reading. So I just want to caution you against that because I feel like this is the start of something wonderful. This is a wish come true, but sometimes, you know, sometimes instead of manifesting and instead of attracting, you can put yourself in a position where you're repelling it purely because of your energies, your vibrational, emotional state, your thinking patterns, your emotional patterns here. So we'll explore what is it about you that could potentially repel this person, repel this connection and, you know, hinder the the growth of this connection here. Okay, so we'll shed a light on some of this darkness here. But for some of you, I feel like, it does feel like it's too good to be true, but you deserve it. And I feel like it's something that you've been wanting so badly here. It's a new beginning. This I am seeing swords here, and I feel like with swords, I feel like it signifies you having to cut ties with someone. Or maybe cut ties and release an old energy here, a past energy. Someone that no longer serves you. Someone that I feel like is threatening your peace of mind, okay? And taking away from your happiness instead of contributing to your happiness. And essentially by doing that, you're going to be creating a life, you're going to be creating room in your life for this wonderful new romantic energy, this person that you want to enter into your life, or perhaps this person that you want to manifest back into your life, okay? So we'll see just how you can help your thoughts instead of uh, hinder um, your thoughts and your reality here. I'm also seeing an emotional message that comes in for you, okay? this is, It feels like this will happen either via text. It could be via text message or I feel like it could take place during a conversation here. It's an emotional message that will lead to a breakthrough. I don't know if it's a breakthrough in your energy here or if it's a breakthrough in your connection with this person or just in your life in general here. So something that I feel like might reduce you to tears. Something that I feel like will be really eye-opening. Okay, and we're going to explore exactly what that is in part two of this reading, which is going to be made by the extension link below. So I just want to thank you guys for your time, your attention. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. For those of you interested in a personal reading with myself, please feel free to reach out. Once again, that link would uh, that email address will be made via the not via the extension link. I'll tell a lie. It will be made available just below the video here. Bye for now.